Unsure where to begin your cybersecurity journey and accelerate your growth? You are not alone in asking which platform is better for cybersecurity, try Hack Me or Hack the Box. I've thoroughly examined both platforms, uncovering their latest features, content, and unique perks to help you cut through all the noise considering how much information is out there. In this video, I will show you the pros and cons of both platforms so that you can pick the one that aligns perfectly with your goals to maximize value and accelerate your growth, all the while saving yourself some money. What can I say except you're welcome? Now, to define a clear winner by the end of the video, we'll use a set of metrics. Each platform scores points based on these metrics. The more the points, the more favorable the platform, obviously. The first metric we're going to look at is usability. Can you as a beginner create an account, log in and start hacking within five minutes? With TryHackMe, all you have to do is create an account and you'll be taken to a dashboard where you can uh, pick a learning path or a module. You then choose a room, start up the machine and you'll be up and running within minutes. With Hackthebox, things get a little bit more complicated. They have four main platforms, Labs Academy, CTF and Enterprise. If you don't know what you're looking for, you start scratching your head. Do you go for the labs? Do you go for the academy? Or do you go for CTF? Enterprise doesn't matter. We don't really care about it. Like I said, it's complicated. I'll break it down a bit further in the video. But for usability, Try Hack Me takes the point. The second metric we want to look at, content. Both platforms update their content frequently, so they both get a point for this. However, Hack the Box Academy seems to be the only one that has the least content on AI red teaming so far. The learning path currently consists of only three introductory level modules, making it pretty basic at the time of recording. But if you're interested in AI and red teaming, that is something to keep an eye on. Hack the Box gets a point. On the flip side, TryHackMe offers Cloud Security content. They have a complete DevSecOps learning path that covers secure coding, pipeline security, container security, and infrastructure as code, along with an additional module for AWS training that is separate add-on so try me gets a point for content uniqueness as well still under content though do both platforms have realistic content both platforms allow users to create content and submit machines for the community to learn from hack the box has stricter requirements for the type of machines that pass the review though try hack me <laughs> not so much the three machines on track me tend to be a lot more ctf style and unrealistic compared to what you get on hack the box which prides itself on being as close to real world as possible this however only applies to the ctf machines that the platforms offer not the actual structured training or courses those are both up to standard on both platforms so hack the box gets a point for that Last thing under content, variety. On the surface, both platforms primarily cater to offensive security professionals, hackers. Hack is in both names, but they also branch into some blue team security operations content as well. Newsflash, hacking isn't the only thing you can do in cybersecurity. Ooh, scary, shoot me. But that said, I'll give this point to Hack the Box because within the realm of hacking, they offer the most content. They have labs covering red team networks, web security, binary exploitation, reversing, cryptography, OSINT, mobile, you name it, right? So HDB gets the point for variety. Third metric we're gonna look at, career progression and job prospects. What we're mostly looking at here is certifications and prestige or clout. At the time of reporting, Hack the Box currently has five certifications, four of which are practical hacking certification, and TryHackMe only has one certification that they just released. It's a blue team certification, so you can skip it. We don't care about it, right? The most popular certification by Hack the Box is the CPTS, and it has gained a lot of notoriety over the course of its existence, as it's now being listed on job postings alongside things like the OSCP and the PNPT. Hack the Box also has a job board where recruiters will be able to see things like your rank and your achievement on the platform if they are hiring. The same recruiters also post some of their open positions there. I've never seen anyone actually get hired from it, but its continued existence means it's of some value and it warrants a point for Hack the Box. Lastly, and probably the most important metric, price. I mentioned Hack the Box gets complicated and it really does. The free plan gives you access to 20 active machines and 80 plus active challenges, which are bite size machines, I guess, snippets of uh, specific areas in security. The lowest tier paid plan for the labs, just the labs on Hack the Box, is $14 per month or $135 
US dollars annually. And this gives you access to all the live machines, all the retired machines, all the fortresses, and all the challenges live and retired, which to be fair, is a lot of content. If you want access to the Academy, the lowest tier plan, which barely gives you access to anything is $18 per month or 490 US dollars per year. So if you get the labs for a year, and the trash lowest plan silver plan for the academy for a year you're looking at a total of about 625 us dollars for the entire year you won't have access to everything in the academy if you go with the silver plan like i said though if you want access to everything in the academy you'll be looking at spending 1200 dollars 1260 for access up to tier 3 then you also have to buy tier 4 modules separately for a hundred dollars each and there's only three tier four modules at the time of this recording so if you want access to completely everything you're looking at 1560 1560 1500 dollars right for an entire year and that's just the academy you're gonna have to go buy the labs separately for about like we said i don't know why they do that but that's how they do it and the people that love hack the box swear by it so i guess it works on the flip side try me is 14 dollars per month <laughs> 14 or 126 dollars a year and this gives you access to all the content on the platform yes i said that all of it for 14 dollars per month with the exception of the aws cloud training that they have which is an add-on for about 375 for three months still cheaper than HTB. try me gets the point here i've forgotten how many points each platform has now They'll be on screen somewhere with the amount of free content that you get and the ability to pay $14 a month for everything else when you feel the need, you cannot go wrong with Triacme. You can explore a plethora of different topics, including blue team stuff to truly get a feel of what direction you'd like to take without breaking the bank. Like I said, and if Hack the Box serves your purposes down the line, feel free to use it. No gatekeeping here. You don't owe either platform blind allegiance. I can bet money they aren't paying you promote them neither are they paying me i'm broke your goal should be to extract as much value as possible from both platforms to serve your needs however one problem you will encounter when you start using these platforms is having a clear roadmap that will show you which labs to do and which platforms to use at a specific point in your journey if that is you watch this next video that will show you the exact roadmap for you to get into cybersecurity by starting out in application security which i think is the future i will catch you in the next one peace